Hi. Welcome to PH Red TV. In today's video we'll have a quick review on the difference between bacteria and virus. Without much farther ado, let's begin with our topic. While bacteria and viruses can both cause mild to serious infections, they are different from each other. This is important to understand, because bacterial and viral infections must be treated differently. Misusing antibiotics to treat viral infections contributes to the problem of antibiotic resistance. Bacteria and viruses are too tiny to be seen by the naked eye, can cause similar symptoms and are often spread in the same way. But that's where the similarities end. A bacterium is a single, but complex, cell. It can survive on its own, inside or outside the body. Most bacteria are not harmful. In fact, we have many bacteria on and inside our body, especially in the gut to help digest food. Viruses are smaller and are not cells. Unlike bacteria, they need a host such as a human or animal to multiply. Viruses cause infections by entering and multiplying inside the host's healthy cells. As the names suggest, bacteria cause bacterial infections. And viruses cause viral infections. It is important to know whether bacteria or viruses cause an infection. Because the treatments differ. Examples of bacterial infections include whooping cough, strep throat, ear infection and urinary tract infection or UTI. Viral infections include common cold, flu, most coughs, and bronchitis, chickenpox and HIV AIDS. It can be difficult to know what causes an infection. Because viral and bacterial infections can cause similar symptoms. Your doctor may need a sample of your urine, stool or blood, or a swab from your nose or throat to see what sort of infection you have. Bacterial Infection Treatment Doctors usually treat bacterial infections with antibiotics. They either kill bacteria or stop them multiplying. But since antibiotic resistance is a growing problem, antibiotics may be prescribed only for serious bacterial infections. Viral Infection Treatment The treatment of viral infections can include managing symptoms such as honey for coughs and warm fluids like chicken soup for oral hydration, paracetamol to relieve fever, stopping viral reproduction using antiviral medicines such as medicines for HIV AIDS and cold sores, preventing infection in the first place such as vaccines for flu and hepatitis. Although some bacteria can cause disease, less than 1% make us sick. Inside our bodies, we have tens of trillions of bacteria making up our gut microbiome and trillions more living, usually harmlessly, on our skin. Meanwhile, most viruses cause disease. And they are usually quite specific about the area of the body that they attack. For example, the liver, the respiratory tract, or the blood. Common viruses include HIV, influenza, the common cold, and the rabies virus. Viruses can also cause pneumonia or sinusitis. The new coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 that causes COVID-19 is also a virus. That's all for today, I hope you learned something new in today's topic. Thank you for stay tuning in, see you again soon here at PHRED TV.